Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I want to talk about E3, which is right around the corner. A few games that have been added to June. It's been a very quiet month for the Game Pass, so we're going to talk about what's added, uh, also what's leaving, and there's also a big day one game coming on June 22nd. But I am highly anticipating that E3 is the reason that June has been so quiet. We are going to get some pretty big news I am anticipating for the Game Pass, so We've already had a really exciting year so far. What are you looking most forward to in E3? It doesn't have to be Xbox related. What do you want to see the most uh, and what are you hoping for? Uh, to me, I think uh, we're going to get some big Game Pass announcements uh, moving forward. Um, but also, not Xbox related, I just want to see a new Donkey Kong game. That's basically what I want from E3 this year. Uh, even just a teaser, but that's what I want. What are you guys looking for? I'm going to dive into the couple games that have been added you might not know about um, and then also what's leaving and then also the day one game. First uh, up on, on June game 3rd, Pass. if you were completely oblivious to this as I was, uh, For Honor came back to the Game Pass that was originally on it. Uh, but it is back if you're not aware of that and you can download it once again. Darkest Dungeon was added today, June 10th. It's a challenging, gothic, roguelike, turn-based RPG. Uh, it's basically an adventure game where you recruit, train, and lead a team through these different challenging areas. Uh, looks pretty interesting to me. Alright guys, like I said, really quiet month. Just a couple of games, and I think E3 is the blame for that. So let's talk about what's leaving on June 15th. We have Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, Night Call, West of Dead, Wizard of Legend, and Observation. So we're actually losing more games here than we're gaining, which is not typical for a month in the Xbox Game Pass, but it's not a big deal. Um, I think we're going to be getting a lot more and also what's coming on the 22nd. So let's talk about the day one game on so the, the big 22nd news that we, we get getting. Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance coming day one to the Xbox Game Pass. And not only that, we get a couple of free DLCs with it. Uh, there's going to be two DLC packs that come out with this game. Um, and I think this game looks great. It definitely looks like it'll be a lot more fun with friends. Uh, but as you can see here in the gameplay trailer, uh, you see a lot of unique monsters, you see a lot of unique classes that they are fighting with, and to me, this looks like an amazing RPG that definitely is exciting that it's coming to the Game Pass on day one, something that I knew nothing about until literally yesterday. Um, but the exciting thing too is that we also get the free DLC on top of that. This is a $40 game uh, coming to the Game Pass for free. And if you like Dungeons and Dragons, if you like RPGs, I think this fits perfectly. Um, what are your thoughts about this? Had you heard about it? Um, and are you going to try it? Alright guys, that's all the information I have for June. Uh, pretty exciting stuff with Dark Alliance. Uh, also, I will be having another big giveaway at 500 subscribers. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, also, I have been streaming here on YouTube. It's gone great. I've met a lot of new people, so I'm enjoying that. So please check out my streams pretty much weekly. Uh, I'm starting around 12 o'clock uh, midnight. So if you are up late, check it out. Uh, but I will be doing that giveaway again in the future. So as always, guys, thank you for watching.